is about to begin. Okay, so for the past five weeks, Dan and I have been working on an iPhone application, and namely we've been working on a video game. And this video game, we're initially releasing it on the iPhone platform, like I have here. And on this iPhone, and whoever else in the audience has a smartphone, you have the capability of downloading any of 950,000 applications on your iPhone. So for the past five weeks, Dan and I have been working on one of those 950,000 applications. And we're going to come back to our marketing strategy in a few moments. <laughs> Alright, so that, the name of our game is called Pipebots, and this character was created by Dan, and Dan has really been the creative impulse behind all of the design. He's been the quality control, the animator, the artist, and he tells me when I need to go to bed. <laughs> so, Pipebots is a game, and it falls in the genre of a 2D physics puzzle-based platformer, and what that means is, picture Super Mario, we take away some of the control over Mario, so all you can do is move and jump, but we add in more functionality where you can control the level and interact more with the level, where you can control an enemy maybe, or you can turn on a fan that'll blow Mario across the screen. But instead of Mario, we have a pipe. Yeah. Alright, and this is a representation of what we call our iterative design process. And we work on everything parallelly. We don't work on it serially. That is, working on perfecting task one and then moving on to task two and perfecting task two. We work on the whole game and we build a big prototype. And I like to compare it to a cookie cutter, where we can, we're working on the cookie cutter and eventually we can make imprints of cookies and put them in the oven. So, and later at the end of our show, we're going to show you a, a demo of an early on cookie cutter and a, a cookie from that. So then, uh, all right, so back to our marketing strategy. And if some of you are in your seats going, uh, I don't know how I feel about this, that's good. That's why we have our name. Semicolon cancer. What a phrase. That is what we've been calling ourselves. We've been aliasing ourselves under that pseudonym. And the purpose of that is if we come back to Parents Weekend a year from now, I guarantee everyone in this room will have remembered that name. <laughs> and I've tested it. Ben has been one who he remembers the name. <laughs> so, and we're hoping that um, in terms of our market strategy, this will generate some press, and any press is good press in our case. So, also, in our marketing strategy. So, these are two big name games in the App Store, and they're called Clash of Clans and Heyday. And these two games are really social-driven games. So there's the big communities of players playing their mobile games within these games. But there's no external place for these players to interact outside of the game. So part of our marketing strategy will be creating a website that is juxtaposing Dan's ability and my ability towards web development. He does design for a website, and I do programming for a website. And it would be creating a community portal where these players can interact with one another. And then if we have all these players, all these mobile gamers on a website, and then it comes time where we finish our Pipebox creation, we can then advertise on that website. And our audience, purely mobile game developers, who are mobile game players who already play games on their mobile devices. So that is, in terms of our marketing strategy, that's what it's calmed into. And over time, we're hoping to accrue a lot of players who already play games on their mobile devices to a site, a portal that we have complete control over and can show them whatever we want to show them. <laughs> and then we, can, we have a demo. So like I said, this is a cookie cutter cookie from very early on. And here it is. And notice the, the icon that took Dan about, how long Dan? Uh, 12 seconds. 12 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but all the animations in this demo of just the pipe bot, of just the red little dude, took down a total of seven and a half hours, and we will show them for no more than 13 seconds. So that's really indicative of how much work goes into such quality product. Because he's taking all that time and compressing it into a really quality product. So if we start it, and the, don't mind the numbers in the lower right, left hand corner. All right, so this is our level. He comes in, and, and he wakes up. And so when I was talking about the Super Mario, this is our Mario. And see the, the fan at the bottom right down here? Here, let me 
wait for the platform to come. All right. Oh, there he is. There he is. Close. Turn the platform on. No. Yes. Bam! He explodes. Mm. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> and there we are. And, and, he, and he ends up glitching out on the on the next one. But oh, wait for the platform again. All right. Over here. And if I turn the fan off. He'll just crash and die. Before, before dying over here. Before dying over here. So that's, that's what we have so far, and it's taken five weeks of creativity from both Dan and I. But it is the cookie cutter. So we can take that and make another cookie of another level, another and another, until we have a game. So it's just a matter of moving forward of making the cookie cutter produce cookies of a higher quality. Thank you. So the, the name of the 